Before I start this presentation, I want to ask a question. What is the meaning of inclusive leadership? In thinking about this question, let's take a look at this case. Jima has been working for a large construction company in Australia for 12 years and was immediately up for promotion. However, due to her progress, the promotion opportunity was cancelled. At the time of her progress, Jima should have been entitled to take 18 weeks for rest. But the leadership believes that Jima could only take 4 to 6 weeks of rest because the leader believed that Jima's longer maternity leave would be disruptive to the company. The leadership canceled her opportunity of the promotion. Moreover, in many construction industries, the proportion of women is low, and there is a lack of toilets used by women on the, some construction sites. So, the leader did not satisfy Jima's right to take the rest during the pregnancy as an employee, which violated the leader's commitment and fails to meet the characteristics of the inclusiveness of leader. The lack of inclusiveness of leaders will also lead to the lack of trust in women, resulting in cultural prejudice and discrimination in, against women, which will make it difficult for women to participate in the construction industry and keep more women away from the construction industry. In order to make leaders more inclusive and enable women to have equal rights, leaders should first meet commitment. This is an important point to the inclusive leadership. Then, the inclusive leadership should be aware of their bias of women, realize their lack of trust in women, and they should be eliminated prejudice against women. In addition, inclusive leadership also should interact more with employees, such as listening to employees' demands and establishing a respectful and psychologically safe work environment so that employees can believe that their work is valuable and that their efforts can improve the company's performance.